Well, when it comes to music, what's old is new. Yeah, vinyl sales are soaring and just set a record. CBS 13's Dom Garcia visited a local record shop where business is booming. It's the place people go for a mocha and a side of music. They come in for a cup of coffee and they're like, hey, oh, whoa, records are here. It's the business model that has kept Press Coffee and Records open for over two years now. And for owner Dean Barduca, the timing couldn't be better. Music is, is what brings us together. Specifically vinyl. Believe it or not, old records just set a record. According to a report from the Recording Industry Association of America, for the first time in three decades, records outsold CDs in the number of units. In fact, this marked vinyl's 16th year of consecutive growth. There's something about that, that physical media and having this artifact in your hand and being able to look at a cover and read through the, the liner notes and all that thing that people just they nerd out on. The report also shows that digital downloads are actually down. Dean says it's not just having something you can touch, but the experience you can share with others. For me, it was always about, not about the records themselves, but about what records do to people and how people gather around music and records. And so it's become a really cool little community of people. And when that community needs a pick-me-up, whether it's jazz or Java, Pressed is the place for them. I think that after years of being digitally fatigued, people are looking for physical things to interact with. Yeah, those are pretty cool. 41 million vinyl albums were sold last year compared to 33 million CDs.